Wait, where's Jake and Rose? Should we wait for them? Jake and Rose are here. Sorry, we're late. What up, everybody? Luckily, we don't have to go over too much. I'll repeat myself a little, but um, we have no uh, new players. I want to show you a video that is phenomenal, just to get everyone in the mood about the beauty that is the warehouse. Gets it over to her Ford, back to Bluff. I didn't oh, he's going to break away. Oh, no, break away by Johnson. And it's a goal. Repeat myself, our mission, entertain, fun, plus competitive. If we lose one of those, we lose both of those. Connect to our audience and to new audiences that do not know us. The standings, hook line is in first place. 24 points, 10 and five record. McFlurry, 20 points. Wooga's and Lovia's tied, 15 apiece. Rotten with seven. And then this is the duds. Better record. It's a good percentage up there in the top right. It's not great. This is not what we want the crowd to look like. This is Blitzball Battle, Blitzball Battle 4, day games. We didn't have a lot of people. And that's um, like a game on day two. This is floorball, where we have everyone in bright colors. So we're going to have the players wear their team jersey. So anyone new that is watching their first season can easily be like, that's Rourke. It's Wugas. I know him. The pitcher rules are reverting back to Blitzball Battle 3. Max of four outs per pitcher. So your secondary pitcher has to get two outs or they get mercy ruled and then they're done. Outs in the field cannot go towards a pitcher. The reason outs in the field cannot be assigned to a pitcher is because we will have three fielders for every game. There will be a designated fielder for the game. Uh, so same person for both teams. This helps us get quicker games and less taxing pitch counts on our pitcher's arms because there's no cheap hits and you can pitch the contact a little more. That would be good. Um, and yeah, the little ding. So the first nine games, Ryan Cohen has signed up to be our designated field. Once a team is eliminated, your names go in a hat, and we will pick the designated fielder for the games. Ryan will become our best fan in the crowd, and he's retired. And then we will be the designated fielders when we're eliminated for the other teams. There will be no uh, shift limits. You just got to be in fair territory. So you can stack two people on one side and position Ryan. He does not want to position himself. Yeah, please tell me where to go. All right, so pace of play is something we want to fix. Batters, we all do this. We step out and we watch the TV right away. So just try to stay in the box and not, in the future, we're gonna make it so the batters can't see the replay. They're just for the crowd. Pitchers, if you are wild and walking everybody, get the ball in play. This is for the benefit of this team, not just your two person team. It's not fun content, but lobs for grounders are better than watching 10 minutes of ball, 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 ball. Oh, we got fines this year, okay? This is the bleep fund. It's 50 cents for every F word. It goes towards the editor's pizza for Bally's because I got to bleep out all the F words. I did a dollar for F word and then I was like, that's a lot of money. 15 games, like that's, that's more than a pizza party. The Rourke fee, it's one, $1 for every broken zip tie on the strike zone. I'm skipping ahead here to show you the playoff bracket after the first two games. It's different now. So there will be two 0-2 teams. They're going to play each other in a play-in game. There will be one team after two days getting a bye, jettisoned to the semis, getting their five points. And there will be two teams having to play in to the bracket to the quarterfinal. These are day one matchups. We got... We, oh, we got ice versus baggage. Have not played each other since Blitzball Battle 1, game one. Anyone got a coin? We're flipping for home and away. 
Okay, baggages, heads, we got Isis tails. Trev's flipping. His tails. What did I say? Okay, we got Isis home. All right. Oh, it's just too big of a coin. Del Caribe versus Forgotten Rotten. Call it, Pop. In the air. Ready? Ready? Ready. Del Caribe is home. Wugas versus Lavias. Uh -huh. Four calls it. Tails. What? All right, Lavias is home. Hook line, McFlurry Power. We'll take home. Okay. What's your guess? So, hook line's home? Day two matchups, if one team was home and the other was away, then you flip. If both teams that are playing each other were the same thing, we'll just flip a coin again. The winners will play each other. So the winner of game one plays the winner of game three, thus creating a one and one team and a two and O team. And then the winner of game two plays the winner of game four, same thing. The two winners of these two games are the two and O seeds. They're gonna play the one inning game against each other for seeding, it's not only for a buy into the semifinals, you also avoid playing day three. So you get to wow. save your arm. Pitching doesn't matter in that game for? No, no pitching rules, one inning, just straight up. Um, extra, innings. extra innings, I kind of wanted to do a tiebreaker so it's just one inning game based on what we were talking about, like most total bases and then most hits and then we can keep going. But I don't really want to get into that bad off and all this stuff. And then after lunch is the losers playing each other. You're gonna get your two 0 and two teams. So it'll mean more day two, I think is good. Day three, we will be filming the play-in game between the two 0 and two teams, then a one and one matchup. Then the team that won game one has to play two in a row. So that's the downside of going 0 and two. Even if you win that, you still screwed extra. So, and then day, day four is the same. Semi-final, semi-final, final. Paths to winning the Warehouse Cup. Uh, hook line sinkers do not win the Warehouse Cup if they get zero points and McFlurry Power makes the semis or Love Yous or Woogas win. If hook line gets five points but they don't make the championship, the only way they don't win the cup is if McFlurry Power wins the whole thing. McFlurry, hook line can't make the championship. Uh, and you guys win it, or you guys have to get five more points than them. Love yous, you guys need a win. Hook line gets blanked. McFlurry does not make the championship, and then Love yous can win the Warehouse Cup. Woogas, you have a chance. You need to win. You need Hook line to get blanked. You need McFlurry to get blanked, then you're good. Or if McFlurry Power gets five points, you need, it's confusing, you need to beat McFlurry along the way. Wait, so if we win out, it's not guaranteed that we win. No, it's not. All right, this was, I thought, interesting. This is who each team's been eliminated by. Del Caribe's been eliminated by McFlurry Power twice. And Forgotten Rotten once. Baggage, we've been eliminated by Wooga's twice. And Love Yous once. We got Ice, Hook Line Sinkers have been their biggest adversary. Forgotten Rotten, also Hook Line Sinkers. Wooga's, also Hook Line Sinkers. But this one was interesting. Love Yous has only been eliminated by McFlurry Power. Also our most common matchup this year, they've played four games against each other and three of them been elimination games because Love Yous eliminated McFlurry Power. And I don't know if you saw the picture, but there's a six foot tall, 150 pound Mountain Dew can uh, uh, in the left field home run area now. It's crazy. Kelsey is pregnant. So we will, we will do everything we can. Be courteous and respectful. Do everything you can to make her life easier. I think that's it. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.